Hi there everybody. Uh, this is Kelly Gettlefinger with Always Stampin' Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make the One Sheet Wonder Bag. First I'd like to take just a second and thank everyone for um, enjoying my first video which was of the Twisted Greeting Card. That video has over 4,000 hits and that is just amazing. So thank you and I'm so glad that you enjoyed making the Twisted Greeting Card. It really is a lot of fun. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, just go to YouTube and um, search for uh, Twisted Greeting Card with Kelly Gettlefinger or look at my channel, Always Stampin' Videos. You'll really enjoy that fold. So today we're going to just work on the uh, One Sheet Wonder Bag. Now this bag may have another name that it goes by, but I'm not sure what it is. I've searched it on the web and I've seen tutorials um, and this is the reason I wanted to make one of my own because the tutorials have a lot of measurements and some confusing um, instructions. I think you'll enjoy these simple tips that I'm going to give you to make the One Sheet Wonder Bag. Let's get started. All right, we're going to begin with a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, and I'm going to show you also measurements how to make this bag with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. The first thing you want to do with a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock is score um, just a tiny score mark or a pencil mark at 6 inches. All right, so I'm just coming up here with my stylus and putting a little mark right there um, on my cardstock, right there at 6 inches. And then you're going to want to fold in each side of your cardstock to that scored mark. Alright, so I'm just folding in both sides, making those match up. All right. Then you're going to take the longest side of your cardstock, folded, and just push that right up into your Simply Scored tool. And next you're going to score at 5 inches and 7 inches. Now you're going through two layers of cardstock, so you want to press pretty firmly. And if you have trouble with your um, stylus jumping, from one track to the other while you're scoring, take some wax paper and smooth it over your cardstock, and I think that will help you with your um, jumping issues. So I'm scoring at five inches and seven inches. All right, then once that's finished, you're gonna open your cardstock and fold on the scored marks we just made. You want to press your scored areas only on the outside scored areas. So we want to leave the inside scored area with some tension because we're making a box and a bag. I'm going to show you how to create both, a box and a bag. So only those outside areas need to be scored. All right. Now once you come to this part, this is the tricky part, the tricky part to explain. So I'm hoping that what I show you will really help. All right, so those um, areas that we just pressed firmly, those are the areas we're going to be working with. You want to bend those areas out while you push in on the corner of that area. And you're going to make the fold match up with the fold of the cardstock that's already there. You'll be creating a fold here on the inside and that's the fold that we want to press with our um, bone folder. You're going to do that on all four corners. So let's do it again here. All right, we're going to push out on that small scored area, push in at the corner, and make our fold match up with the cardstock that's already folded. Press there on the inside and do it again. Push out, push in, match up, and press. One more time. Push out, push in, match up that fold with the fold that's already there, and press. And there you have it. That's basically your... Um, your fold for the one sheet wonder bag. Now here's the trick to making a bag, a box, and then I'll show you how to make the bag next. Alright, so to make a box, 
here's what we want to do. We're going to add adhesive in all four of our corners. All four. Now, remember how we um, pencil marked or put a tiny score mark right there at the six inch mark and then we folded our cardstock in? We're going to do that again and we're going to adhere the pages down. All right? And now we're going to add adhesive to these triangle areas. All four of these triangle areas get adhesive. Now, because we're using cardstock, you may want to use sticky strip. This box will have some tension on it. So I'm just using a snail adhesive so that uh, I can make the video quicker. All right, so all four of these corners, or I'm sorry, triangles, will get adhesive. And now you're just gonna bring your box up and push all those um, adhered triangles flat. And this creates your one sheet wonder bag, a box, sorry. <laughs> um, now, when you get to this point, you pretty much can decorate it however you want. And I have one to show you. Uh, this is my uh, one sheet wonder box. I've left um, the side panels straight up. This works really well with cardstock as opposed to um, designer series paper, just because it's a lot thicker. It makes a great uh, firm box. My next video, I'll show you a really quick and easy tip on how to create the paper ruffle that I've got on my um, One Sheet Wonder box. All right, now let's move on and show you how to create the One Sheet Wonder bag. All right, so I'll show you a little tip for the bag. All right, I've already um, scored my 12 by 12 cardstock here and uh, stick around. I'll give you those measurements for the eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of cardstock um, when you make your one sheet wonder bag. So the difference between the bag and the box, for the bag, what you wanna do is go ahead and do all of your, um, your folding, just like you did with your box. You're gonna push in and you're gonna make those um, folds match up and press on the inside. Just make the folds match up. All right, now this is the difference right here. Now on this part that we left uh, straight, um, we're going to push right in the center and bring those um, corners together. Just hold those corners, pinch them together, and then you're gonna pinch the fold you've just created on the inside about halfway down. Let me show you again. You're gonna push in the center, bring those folds together, hold that tight, and then you're just gonna squeeze that inside fold that you just created. All right, now um, you're gonna add adhesive to all four corners, just like you did with the box. But instead of adding adhesive in the triangle areas, you're just gonna leave those free of adhesive so that when you bring your sides up, your, box, your bag can go completely together. All right, just like that. Now here um, is the sample that I showed you in the beginning. And let me show you one more uh, sample. Well, first let me give you the measurements for the eight and a half by 11. When you're using eight and a half by 11 cardstock to create this bag, you want to start by adding a tiny scored mark at five and a half. So right there at five and a half. You'll fold your sides in just like you did in the beginning. And then you will turn it so that the longest side of the cardstock is to the top of the cutter. And you'll score it at three and a quarter and five and a quarter. Now that's making um, a uh, taller bag or a shorter bag. It's, it's going to be different when you um, score in different areas. So with your cardstock this way, you want to put a pencil mark or a tiny score mark at four and a quarter here. All right, then you'll fold your sides in 
and you'll score at four and a half and six and a half. And if you'd like to see this actually done, I can make a video of that. Uh, just leave me a comment and let me know that you'd like to see those, um, those folds done. And this is the bag that you would come up with when you're scoring um, your 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Uh, this is one and then another one will be shorter, but of course wider this way. So like I said, I can show you those folds if, you, if you'd like a video of that. Just let me know when you leave a comment. And then this is my favorite that I'll leave you with. Uh, this is an eight and a half, I'm sorry, 12 by 12 uh, sheet of cardstock um, creating the one sheet wonder bag. I just think it's so cute. Um, and so yeah, there you have it. Um, the one sheet wonder bag. And um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a creative day.